Welcome back. Mr. X here in studio going over some of the pro league coverage. Obviously, cast by the great Fox the Don, the great Jay the Caster. My cast great. off to team that I drafted. Give him give you some updates from other games in the league, though. Gonna have Rise 1-0 up against OG. That is not a misprint. We're gonna have Envy up 1-0 versus TK. AR 1-0 over Denial. TCM 1-0 over Justice. As we uh, just talked about, Phase versus Prop has not started yet. Don't know what's going on with those guys. But uh, nope. From what I've seen tonight, very impressed with my cast off duo. There's a reason I drafted both of you, and it's to dominate. Uh, last time, Search and Destroy. Just uh, kind of jumped all over the place with who we were on board with. That's the one thing. Look to see in this one. You guys can, you're going to kill it though. Confident on that. Jay saying he's a big Steph Curry fan in the break. Fox, he's a huge James Harden fan. So, <laughs> little bit oh, so right we, over there. Is this the part where we make things up? Yeah, no, I just completely made that up. <laughs> I'm excited for that game tonight, though. It should be pretty good. I think the Warriors yeah. probably kill them in the series, but... Oh, yeah. Game one should be pretty I, good. Four one. I, I, I think uh, the finals will probably be the Cavs and the Warriors, and the Warriors will just, like, blow yeah. them away. Yeah. The Cavs, so the I mean, Warriors going to blow the Cavs away? Yeah, there's no way. Ooh. There's no way a hobbled-up Kyrie Irving, who already plays bad defense, can't guard... <laughs> Steph Curry. Shots fired. No, yeah, I don't Kyrie, know. if Cavs, you're watching, I think you're an awful This defender. is a really awkward moment to not be a fan of professional basketball. That probably <laughs> is, because I'm just naming players. You don't know if I'm being truthful or if I'm See, lying or not. Big See, fan of Michael go... Jordan. Big fan of Michael Jordan. Yeah, oh, yeah, like yeah. Benson. Benson only knows Michael Jordan. He played good <laughs> That's all you need night. to know. <laughs> I you guess. Space Jams? Yes. I right, have seen Space Jam, good. Fox. Jay, I am a living Jam human. I am pooping in diapers. Oh, yeah. I have okay. seen Space Jam, yes. Uh, <laughs> guys, while we're waiting for our game to start up, we can throw it over Karma, see if OG can beat Rise. It's a bit of a shocker I said that, but struggling a little bit against Rise. Uh, down to 1-0 maps. Looks like Formal using a KF5. We can uh, go to listen and see what's going hmm. on over here. Oh, what the fuck? All right, cut, 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 cut. Oh. My bad, dude. I've never been naded right there before. That's okay. Good. I got swarmed. Mm -mm. All right, what you guys trying to do? Win. Air B. Should we go B again? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go look for a kill A side. Do it. Gonna a gonna side? Play. All right. I'm gonna take out a sub Rooney here. Make some plays. We're we rushing A. I thought I need this street. Hell I need it. Hell I need this street. Holy shit. Yeah. Top cut, I got you. Glass top, cut, glass uh, cut right now. Top 10. One cut, absolute one shot. Top glass, weak guys. Nice. I got him. Top 10. He's one yellow top stairs. 10. He jumped back. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, what did I get shot with? I'm in you, Matt. One sec. Alright. I'm in map right now. I'm just in middle cut. One's like balcony. Like sniping. Yeah, there's one balcony. I just heard his thing run out. I think he's oh, trying to get off, Damon, when you go around the corner. Could be under me. I hear I lots of right things happening. You. I think he's right under you. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there David, don't back die. Sniping. One's out on the yellow stairs going up them. That guy's really hurt. Oh, uh, good try. I was pre-firing, hoping he walked straight yeah, into it, you know? Yeah, all good. Sorry. Uh. All right, I'm gonna go bottom orange just right I miss playing with overkill. <laughs> nice. You miss playing with overkill? Yeah. Switching sides. That's something I never thought I'd hear. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. This is going to be Solar Hardpoint game number two. TCM taking the first hardpoint pretty convincingly. Let's see if Justice can respond on this search and destroy. All right, who do you want to jump on board with off the start? I'd like to see something out of TCM, but it's entirely up to you as we did just see Octane picked up the first blood for the offensive squad. Yeah, I want to jump on board with Moose. He's currently going to be in A2v4. Shane and Jared are going to drop. Moose spots one top B, able to pick off Octane. Now making it a 2v3 situation. That bomb on the mini map looks like it is going towards the A bomb site. And both the players from TCM 
are just now gonna start rotating that bomb should be going down shortly all right we're gonna see the late rotation justice not watching any angles to even spot where they're coming from we're gonna see just T tcm of team justice is the only player watching a good side now finally study expanding or not study that's gonna be merc expanding out of the base trying to figure out where they're coming from able to communicate with that with his teammates so that's why we're gonna see mad cat fall moose the last man standing in a one versus three at bottom glass he's not gonna come out alive here oh. and we're gonna see the first round go to team justice I think that was Study who just got a nasty snipe onto Moose in your round ending kill cam. But yeah, Justice able to win their first offensive round 1-0. And look at Study snipe onto Moose. And a nice response, responsive round from Justice after coming off that hard point loss. You like to see them put that first round on the board. Yep, that snipe right there. Study able to drag scope, bring it right up towards that TCM player and drop him. So we're going to start off with the offensive side here, as you should be in search and destroy. That's where all the action is going to be at, right? So I want to see what Mad Cat's going to do. Looks like Jur's the one taking the bomb, though. But they're all playing this B bomb site so well. Got to spread out a little bit. Gets to some uh, height advantage positions here as they're all kind of clustered right here. Yeah, Mad Cat and TCM just playing it really passive right now. Justice playing really back far and b that bomb is gonna be pushing up slowly but surely tcm the player taken out by jared that's gonna give tcm a 4-3 man advantage that's gonna be mad cat who picks up another kill now a 2v4 man advantage this bomb should be going out shortly study the designated sniper for this justice squad needs to look top orange and hopefully get this pick but looks like no one is going to expose themselves just too much tcm playing so smart around orange study and octane have their work cut out for them with all four tcm players alive and the bomb going down just 35 seconds to work with here not a whole lot of time study pushing in with the pdw picking up the first kill on the squad on the mad cat and it looks like octane is just hanging back he's gonna fall yeah study in a 1v3 not able to do anything there tcm responds with their first round on the board and uh playing passive really worked out for them they were able to get those first couple picks move in when they had man advantage and all they had to do from there was trade the kills Shane, picking up your last kill for the round with studying that one versus two, one versus three situation. There wasn't much that he had to work with. His octane fell behind him on the L wall. So we're going to see that round go to TCM. All tied up. One, one, just third. We're in the third round now. I want to see what Study's going to do. He has a sniper in hand. I got to imagine he's going to try and get this first pick, which would be huge for Justice Momentum coming off of the offensive side, tossing some pre nades. None of them are going to connect, though. No one is looking for this pre snipe on Van. So Study is really open to do whatever he wants Aww. here. Yeah, mishap. Octane accidentally team kills TCM. Merc gets taken out as well. So off the break, they're going to have 2-4 man disadvantage. Octane picks off Jared. Moose going to trade that kill. So it's going to be Study left alone. He's going to fall. TCM responds again. Two rounds in a row. They're going to be up 2-1. Yeah, had Study played that lane that he was watching a, a little bit more aggressive, he actually could have probably had a good flank on the TCM squad. But, you know, not having that map knowledge of where people are at when he's watching over that cut and no one peeked him or anything like that, it, you got to kind of understand why he didn't push it. For us at home looking at Codcaster and such, we see that there's no one there, but Study doesn't know that, and he doesn't want to expose himself to players that might be around the corner waiting for him. So still a good play out of him. When he rotated back over, he was able to get that first kill. But still, had he taken that route and taken the initiative, they could have had a good flank. Yeah, I agree. Moose, gonna be on your screen. They're doing an aggressive A push. I like this, changing things up, pushing towards the A bomb. Moose gonna be on my screen right now. Has a player catwalk. Looks like he is gonna try and challenge with that ASM1. Spots a player in the back, sends some shots, able to get that first bullet. That's gonna be huge. Bomb should be going down shortly. Two players, middle map. Moose is in the way of one of them. Can he do? I don't think either of them saw each other. TCM of Justice is right around the corner. TCM Aww. heard him double jump and was able to come in on top in the gunfight. Now three versus three situation, but just the TCM of Team Justice is going to fall. Now it's just Study and Merc left in this 2v3. Merc so very far away from Study. These guys are not playing together at all. Even though Study does have the flank, they're just not able to work anything out when they're outnumbered. Jurd is going to take him out again. Study not able to trade because of how separate they are, Jay. Yeah, Study playing that one a little too far away from Merc. A little passive. Gonna have that sniper overkill, though. That bomb was rotated all the way to B. Should be go down shortly. Study has to run through three TCM players and get the defuse to get this round win. There we go, Study trying to go through pipe spots. One player on the bomb site whiffs that first shot, switches over to the ballad. He picked up off of the ground. No overkill in this series. Both teams have agreed not to use it. So we're going to see all TCM just taking a good defensive position on Orange. And when you put that bomb down, that's exactly what you got to do. You turn your offenses into defenses. And since they outnumber Study, there's no reason to get risky unless you're baiting a player out. Yeah, smart play from that player. 
that ran away. He's gonna pick off Jerd though, so study now in a 1v2. 16 seconds to get two, two kills and the defuse. Doesn't look likely able oh to pick goodness. off Shane though. 11 seconds, if you find the kill, not gonna be able to. MC playing that very smart. All he has to do is look at the bomb. And that's another round win coming from TCM. Three consecutive rounds. And there it is, Madcap playing his numbers advantage. He knows all he had to do is play the clock. He didn't need to challenge study and expose himself in any way. So TCM is going to take that round. Good round coming in from TCM. They were able to push up to A, maybe get, and they got the first pick, and then they rotated over to B, which is really smart. After picking off Merc, Study was just playing too far back, stuck in a 1v3, not able to do anything there. So TCM gonna have 3-1 round lead in this game number two. Currently they're up 1-0 in the series. Justice needs to do something if they want to come back. Study, unfortunately, just hasn't been in the position to get his early picks. He's going to the spots that people usually go to, but no one on TCM is exposing themselves. I'm not even sure that TCM has any snipers. They're all running ASM1s and bows. So, unfortunately, Study not able to be the big factor that he could be on another uh, that he would going against another team that has snipers. TCM of Justice is going to get the first blood for his squad. Four versus three situation as we're seeing the bomb go down. Yeah, it's gonna be a 2v4 currently after that kill goes down. Octane's taken out by Jared. Now it's gonna be a 1v3. Moose picks off one. Two more players to go with. He has 30 seconds left to get these two kills and the defuse. Spots one in front of him. He's gonna get taken out. Justice put another round on the board. Absolutely, Justice playing so well here. They actually had a phenomenal weekend at UMG Cali, I might add. As I said on the first day, coming out first in their pool, they were able to beat all the teams that people thought they weren't going to beat. Uh, I put Elevate over top of them for sure, but it did not turn out that way. So Justice definitely impressing me. Study also had the event of his weekend. Lots of the pro players on Twitter and in person giving him props for his performance. So, you know, I've actually gotten a chance to speak with Big Snacks as well, the team owner. He says Merc, their newest pickup, brings a lot to this team in terms of experience. He says he's the player to watch in terms of keeping them all level-headed, you know. He's teaching them a lot. He says Study and TCM have gotten the, mo the most out of his time being on the roster. So maybe that's why we're gonna see them performing so well recently. But back into the action. Justice taking the most previous round, bringing the score 2-3. Everyone in very defensive positions on the defensive side. Yeah, again, we're gonna see a passive play coming in from both teams. Jared gonna have that bomb in hand. They're gonna be favoring that B bomb site, but they're just waiting for another pick, just like they did the last offensive round. See if it works out again. But as Justice know they're going B, they're gonna send two over there to that bomb site, and they're all covering on B. The smartest thing would to prefer Justice or for TCM would be to rotate that bomb. And just as I said in the beginning, no action going down yet with just 45 seconds remaining. Justice, as I said, playing so defensive on this defensive side. They're playing very passive. Just team TCM of Team Justice had the opportunity for a kill right there, but he saw the odds were not in his favor, so he's going to back off. Tagged up once again. We're seeing them play so carefully. That's what you want to see out of the defensive team. Octane getting the first blood. Now we're going to see TCM take point as they do get the first blood. They have the numbers advantage. TCM tagging one player up. Study is able to finish him off. Three versus one. Shane is the last man standing. He gets one kill kill to his name but now the t the justice players know exactly where he's at someone's jumping on the bomb can shane come out alive in this one versus two merc defusing that's going to be a round win for team justice yeah nice plays coming in from from justice they were able to get all those kills and the defuse and i like that that his player or justice teammate was just supporting that guy who was defusing the bomb able to pick up that kill because if he wasn't able to pick up that kill the guy that or merc who was defusing probably would have got dropped and he would have been able to clutch it, but that round's gonna go in favor of Justice. Now it's gonna be tied three apiece. Study, tossing some pre-nades towards the B-bomb side. We have not seen any of those connect just yet. They have not been a factor, but that gives him good knowledge as to spot checking where these players may or may not be. Study, taking point on the B-bomb side. He's actually gonna decide to go through middle cut with his teammate. He's able to get the trade for TCM. That's what you wanna see. We did not see that earlier when Study and Merc were working together. They played so separate and no one was in range to get the trade, but the communication right there coming out of Study and player TCM is what's going to give him that trade now. Study playing so carefully towards a bomb site, Jay. What do you expect to see happen as Study has a nice angle on that player sitting around the corner? That was Jared that fell. Yeah, Study is going to be causing havoc. Currently 9 and 4 on a two streak as Shane picks up Mert. Study gets some shots, another kill. Give Can me. he get that? He sends some shots that way. Player is going to be there. He's going to get the assist on that kill, but. It was uh, Study who really went huge for that team that round, getting three kills. Justice go up four rounds to three. Yeah, Study picking up that player when he was sitting bottom glass, just around the corner, you know, heads up play to notice that player's feet underneath the crate, giving him three of the four kills obtained this round. Octane and your round and kill came getting the fourth. Justice coming to life in this in this uh, S and D here. Now they've grabbed the lead just by one round. Yeah, big plays from Justice. They need to win this search to tie it up one apiece. They don't want to let TCM go up 2-0 in the series. Currently, it's going to be 
Jerd, who has that bomb TCM on the offensive side of, this side of things. It looks like Jerd gonna take this one a weird route. He's gonna run straight through middle. I like this play from them, getting it a little risky. And he got through without anybody seeing them. It's gonna be in back of the spawn. He spots Octane, takes them out, study drops as well. And it's gonna be Merc who picks up Shane. Now it's gonna be a 2v3 in favor, or it's 2v2 now, as Jerd gonna plant this bomb. Oh my goodness, if Justice loses this round, that's completely unacceptable. Three players were able to go straight through middle cut to middle map, being completely unnoticed. Now we're in a one versus one situation. TCM of play of Team Justice is going to be sitting balcony with both the bow and ASM1. It's going to be his job to defend, to try and defuse this bomb as it has gone down, but Moose is going to be playing so quietly, just waiting for TCM of Team Justice to make a mistake. Yeah, Moose is sitting carefully. I think he might be sound wearing that bomb. It's me right above TCM. Did he spot them? They're gonna be right next to each other. Moose had to have heard that player. TCM looks like he might go for the defuse here, but Moose playing this so smart, just sitting around waiting for that seven seconds so he can check the bomb. But TCM is gonna run away. Not enough time to defuse. Nice clutch coming in from Moose. Moose's patience is one on that one. All he all oh, he had to do boy. was wait for a TCM of Team Justice to come around the corner and just wait for him to maybe throw a grenade or switch weapons or double jump. All he had to do was play sound. That's exactly what he did. He didn't bother challenging the gunfight when TCM was above him. When he was at uh, S2, he just dropped down, waited. That's what you need to do in a situation like that. Yeah, there was one point where they were literally on top of each other, but Moose was able to get out of there unseen, sitting in a corner, but nice kill, kill coming from him. Now it's going to be four apiece as we go into this next round, round number nine. It's going to be Justice on your offensive side of things, and they're taking this bomb over to A. All right. I want to see this player is sitting bottom orange. That's going to be Shane who gets tagged up by the stun. Now the, T the players of Justice know that he's in there as well as him firing off shots. They know exactly where he's at. TCM is going to draw first blood by taking down TCM of Team Justice. Merc with the bomb in hand, still playing around Cat. He knows it's not safe to put the bomb down yet, especially in this 3v4 situation. So what do you expect to see out of this TCM squad just to sit back they know that they have man advantage all they need to do is trade kills Merc goes for some shots not able to connect with a kill and i want to see if justice rotates this bomb because you see on the mini map tcm all over that b bomb site it'd be smarter to rotate to a but i think tcm was watching the cross so if they do cross that's going to be called out I think it was smart enough for them to stay. All they need to wait, all they need to do is wait and see if someone is going to cross middle map, but it doesn't look like anybody from TCM is often to do that as they have a pretty spread out setup. They, they haven't had to leave any of their opening positions just yet. Moose is sitting just outside of S2. He's just gonna sound or listen to, listen for the sounds at A, and it looks like there's also a player sitting balcony. So TCM set up extremely well for this rotation. Yeah, Moose able to pick up a kill. Octane's gonna trade that one though. It's gonna be Mad Cat on my screen. Can he find that player? Octane goes huge, picks up two kills. Now a 2v2. Octane's gonna get taken out by Jerd Merc in a 1v2 situation. Merc trying to spot the player top water. Oh, trying to, what are you doing, Merc? You gotta hit those bell oh. shots to stop coming in. Merc is finally able to hit fire and finish the kill. One versus one situation. That's gonna end the round. Yeah, Merc wasn't able to get that bomb planted. So it's gonna be a smart play from TCM just to wait for that player and you know you didn't have time to plant so all he had to do was just yeah. run away and that's an easy win for tcm they're gonna go up five four yeah being on the atlas side all you got all he had to do on defense there was just wait and listen merc had no time to put that bomb down so tcm coming out on top on that round great job by them five four we're heading into round 10 this and dj what do you expect to see happen for justice to get these next two rounds they need to play this defense very carefully. They don't want to let TCM, you know, don't don't get too aggressive on TCM. You know they like to play passive over by that B site. So if Justice just plays a little passive and all they have to do is wait, don't don't let TCM plant that bomb, they'll be pretty good for this round. All right, Jerd already sitting top orange. Teams like Team Caliber love to get that orange control and get a bow up there. Jerd is going to be the player to take point and do that, but he gets tagged up a little bit and sees that since they got first blood, he can really move position to go wherever he wants so long as he doesn't get traded, and it looks like there is one player in orange. That's going to be Mad Cat. He's surrounded. He's trying to come out alive in this situation to keep the numbers advantage. TCM plays so carefully and so patiently, and that is why they're going to win this round, I believe. Four versus two situation, but Mad Cat is traded. Yeah, that was a good play by Mad Cat, staying alive as long as he could, just to waste time, because he know Justice has to defuse that bomb. Octane on my screen, able to pick up one, gets strictly, quickly traded by Moose. Now, it's going to be Merc in a 1v2. He needs to get these two kills and the defuse in 12 seconds. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to, and TCM going to take map number two as well, so they're going to go up 2-0 in the series. TCM just played this SD the same way everywhere, the same mindset. Just wait and see. Wait and see. That's all you got to do is let Justice expose himself. I think a lot of the uh, teams that play in America are always so aggressive and just so sure of themselves. And TC, TCM, now moving to America, able to take that to their advantage and win this SD. Yeah, coming off that 3 0 from Denial, they're really showing it here. They might be able to 3 0 Justice as well, and they're just going to have a good night. 
as they're able to take a 2-0 lead over Justice. Guys, that was a great cast. Uh, some points, a little bit, uh, a little bit rough. Obviously, you know the TCM team name, TCM yeah. player name, a little bit rough. But overall, thought it was a very good S and D cast. We're gonna go to a quick commercial break. Uh, game number three coming up next.